So familial Alzheimer's disease is something that goes under lots of different names, lots of doctor names. Um, so some of the names that we'll, people will hear are things like dominantly inherited Alzheimer's disease or autosomal dominant Alzheimer's disease. And what all those names mean in, in simple terms is they refer to a very, very small proportion of cases of Alzheimer's disease that is inherited. And by that I mean where it has come down generation by generation, usually very young onset, so people getting a disease in their 30s, or 40s, or 50s, when they first get symptoms. And because it is inherited in this way, um, every second member of the family is at risk. So if one has a parent with, who carries this a mutation in one of the genes, and there are three, that can cause familial Alzheimer's disease, that each of that person's children has a 50% chance of getting a healthy gene from the mum or dad, or an unhealthy gene. If you have the unhealthy gene, you get the disease, usually at a similar age to your affected parent. Historically, there's been very little support for people who have a, the familial form of Alzheimer's disease. There is now a, a, a support group which has been set up and there is starting to be a, uh, some websites and some links for people to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm.